Welcome back to our QuickBooks Online tutorial series. Today, we're diving into an essential feature often overlooked by many users, the undeposited funds account. This account plays a critical role in managing your finances by acting as a virtual safe where you temporarily store payments until they are deposited into your bank account. Understanding how to use this account correctly is vital for accurate financial records. Let's consider a scenario where you're running a freelance graphic design business. After completing a project, your client pays you with a check. In real life, you might place this check in your desk drawer until you're ready to go to the bank. In QuickBooks, this action is mirrored by recording the payment to the undeposited funds account. This process helps ensure that your bookkeeping reflects the actual physical flow of money. The importance of using the undeposited funds account becomes clear when you handle multiple payments. For instance, you might receive several checks over a week. If you record each check directly into your bank account in QuickBooks upon receipt, your QuickBooks records will show funds that aren't actually available in your bank account yet. This can lead to discrepancies that complicate financial reporting and reconciliation. Now, I will be showing you some forms here in our sample company. It already has some information that we can use. Suppose Craig's Design and Landscaping Services, our sample company, finishes a project and receives a check from a client. This check is physical. It's in your hand. You need to ensure this money is recorded in QuickBooks, even though it hasn't hit your bank account yet. Here's how you would handle it. First, on the upper left side, navigate to this New button. From here, you'd go to Receive Payment to start logging the transaction. This may take a while to load, depending on your internet speed. Now, you'll select Amy's Bird Sanctuary as the customer, and automatically, all the invoices for this customer will show. We have only one invoice showing for this particular customer. Under the Payment method, you'll need to select Check because it's the method the customer paid with. Since it's a check, you would also input the check number, adding a layer of traceability to your records. Now, the Deposit To drop-down here is the most important thing here. This is where we specify which account to record the check payment. Instead of depositing this check directly into your business's checking account, you select the Undeposited Funds account. This selection indicates that while the money has been received, it hasn't been deposited in the bank yet. It's a crucial step because it keeps your bookkeeping accurate, reflecting the actual state of your funds. Now we'll select the respective invoice the customer is paying for. And when everything is set, come down here and click on Save and Close. So far, what we've done is that we have recorded Amy's check for $239. Consequently, accounts receivable have decreased by this amount, while undeposited funds have increased by the same amount. From this point, whenever you're ready to deposit the check, perhaps at the end of the week, or when you have multiple payments collected, how do we now get this amount from undeposited funds into the actual bank account? From your main dashboard, you'll find everything you need neatly organized on the left-hand side under the New button. When you click this button, a drop-down menu appears. You want to select Bank Deposit under the Other category. This will land you on the Bank Deposits dashboard. Here, you'll see a list of all payments you've placed in undeposited funds, including Amy's check that we've just received. And over here at the top, we're going to specify the account where we want to put these deposits. Let's choose the checking account. Now let's say we've deposited all these payments. Instead of selecting just one payment, we can actually select all of them to process at once. Once we have all that put together, we'll right here at the bottom and select Save and Close to finish the task. And we've successfully moved all our undeposited funds into the bank. This method is particularly useful if you receive both check and cash payments. By grouping them in undeposited funds, you can make a single deposit entry in QuickBooks that corresponds with the single physical deposit you make at the bank, whether it includes one check or multiple checks and cash. This helps keep your bank records synchronized with your bookkeeping, ensuring everything matches up when it's time to reconcile your accounts. It's also worth noting that you should regularly manage your undeposited funds to avoid any discrepancies between your records and actual bank statements. This includes making timely deposits in QuickBooks when you deposit funds at your bank and ensuring all entries in undeposited funds are accounted for and cleared out. 
In our upcoming lessons, we'll explore more features in QuickBooks Online that help streamline your business's financial operations, ensuring you maintain robust and accurate financial records. Thank you for joining today's session, and I look forward to helping you continue to enhance your business's financial management.